we on? Yeah. What up, the slingshot video blog? No, keep that on there. I want no, that. No, no. Keep it on there. <laughs> I want that. that. Dude, that's everyone. Welcome knows. to this uh, edition. This edition. This is so <laughs> keep all of this on there, Taylor. <laughs> I can't wait to uh, go on this vlog journey with you guys today. I'm hitting all the right this notes. This is the worst <laughs> Keep all of intro. it. We're heading up to Dallas and Houston this week. It's gonna be really good. Stay tuned. Keep all of that in there, Taylor. All of it. All. Adam Carpenter's coming back. This is Adam Carpenter. That what up? This shot is on his face right now. It's on my face. After two months of baby sabbatical, his wife just had a beautiful little baby angel girl, little Abigail. We're so excited to have Adam back on the road. Adam and I have been best friends for coming up on 16 years, which is most of our life. Did you know that? I did know 16. that. And um, actually tonight we're gonna be at Christ for the Nations where Adam and I met. And uh, it's just really good to have my boy back, Sons of Thunder. We're working on so much crazy stuff right now. It's just absolutely wild. The vlog, the social media, this is just the beginning. There's so much coming and Adam and I are grinding. Be looking for that stuff because it's gonna be rolling out. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep that on there, Taylor. <laughs> You're being so dad, bro. <laughs> Am I being dad? You're being dad. Bro, I, did you see what I just came out of? I just came out of dad world. Do you know how much poop I have cleaned in the past three days? Of course, newborn, Co is still on diapers, and my dogs, they're old grandmas. Like, literally, they're like 80 years old in dog, dog, what's it called? Language. Dog years. Dog. years. And uh, they can't hold their their rig anymore <laughs> <laughs> and they got into a rotten chicken somehow they found like a weird chicken in the backyard by the trash or something oh. and uh, it was bad news we're at Christ for the Nations in Dallas hair flip Ding. put that on there uh, we're in Christ for the Nations in Dallas. Here, span out in here. This is where I went to Bible school. This is where I met uh, my best friends, Adam and Dustin. This is where I met my wife. Um, this is it. <laughs> Bunny ears? No, worse. <laughs> oh, man. No, this is it. Special place, and we're here to... Uh, what is this thing? Is that like a... Rebuild a uh, Worship and Leadership Conference. Worship and Leadership Conference. We're here. So I was a student, and now I'm a guest. How long ago? You were a student? Uh, almost 16 years. Wow. It's been a while. So you still come back? And you still come back. They still have us back. I'm blown away. Uh, if you're looking for a good Bible school, Christ for the Nations, cfni.org. And of course, come to Heart of David, too. Ding! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is John and Amy. They've come down to really just to run with our heart of david That's squad <laughs> from new york city and uh they're gonna lead with us tonight yeah um yeah. Yeah. fragrance it's gonna be good <laughs> <laughs> Carpenter. We met here, what? 15 years ago. 15, this going on 16, whatever it is, 15-ish. And uh, yeah, find your tribe. What's the importance of finding your tribe? The importance of finding your tribe is that 
hey, you will not only not just be doing everything alone, but you'll be with like-minded people to where there's synergy, you're sharpened, you're energetic, and you're loving it, and it's for the long haul. It's all about, when you find your tribe, it's all about longevity. The days of like the one man of God or the one woman of God doing everything is over. God's doing everything in family now. So find your tribe so you can make it for the long haul. That's what this is all about. This is a word from God for you guys. There's gonna be perfect sound in heaven. Perfect sound systems in heaven. Anyone catching a witness on this? <laughs> Anyways, we just got <laughs> we just got done with worship here at Christ for the Nations. Let me give you context. So tonight was a little rough sound-wise. Uh, the sound system was off, the monitors were off, my monitor blew up right in the beginning. Um, a lot of you guys and gals watching, uh, you DM me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or on social media and you go, you know, how do I ever become a powerful worship leader? The way that you do that is you press through the, the hard times. You just have to go through those crazy times. Um, the reason I've come, I'm comfortable with my monitor blowing up tonight is because it's blown up a million times before. There are no bad days in the kingdom when it comes to this stuff because you have to rack it all up to experience. That's how you can become a powerful worship leader or you can grow in confidence. You just have to go through the good and the bad. Don't be discouraged, rack all of it up to experience. Worship was awesome tonight and uh, yeah, we are wrapping up and we are about to head on to Houston tomorrow. Uh, the squad and I are going to probably grab breakfast tomorrow or lunch or something like that. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Thug life. What, what, what? Thug life. Hit the dab in the thug life. Don't put that on there.